Hello everyone, Eric here. Today we're looking at this Mac quad axle Husky manure spreader. Come along, come around the side here. You can see Mac's signature um, rubber block suspension cab. Underneath these cabs, they have rubber blocks. You can't see it from out here, but um, these cabs are known for their uh, rough riding and, you know, as they say, it rides like a truck. Well, this cab is certainly uh, no exception. Come along the side. You can see this is a tank, holds manure, manure spreader. This came from a local farm. I'm guessing out in Darien Center, New York, or Silver Springs, maybe in Warsaw. Who knows? This came from one of those bigger farms, though. Um, here's your dual rear axles, your tandem rear axles, if you will. We got the large I beam arch bar suspension. Um, you know, they quit using this style because when the truck goes over any sort of uh, terrain with any kind of hills or anything, what happens is it bottoms this out right here and uh, it's not good. Not good. So that's one of the reasons. Come to the back. Here's one of the most important parts of the truck. Um, oh, there you go, right there. Arcade, that's where it came from. It came from Arcade. Um, this is your pump. This is basically this is your hydraulic pump that runs everything that actuates inside of the, the spreader here. Um, we, oh yeah, it's right inside. You got the auger. I forgot to say that. You got the auger inside. And it basically, it, it, it moves everything to the back, all the manure inside there to the back. It makes it easier for it to spread it around. Um, so yeah, or tell supply. Arcade, that's that's pretty far from where we are. But if you go out to Arcade, New York, it's very rural. And like I said, this truck would have been working in a rural environment, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, we'll go back along the side here. I just wanted to kind of show all that. This is what you'd call the business end of the truck. Now, Husky, I'll talk a little bit about this, this specific Husky company. Um, so Husky, they were a part of the FMC Corporation, which is Food Machinery Corporation. They've been around since the turn of the century, and um, they've been making everything from uh, garden tractors to street sweepers to, uh, oh my goodness, uh, they even made their own trucks for a while, but they got put out of business by Mac and all the other big names. But that's kind of a quick rundown of Husky. Now, we'll go back to the front. Another th specific thing about these trucks is if you look at the headlights, they're vertical instead of the traditional Mac horizontal ones. Um, they did that because they put a higher foot on this to accommodate the larger um, engines that they put in these to run the PTO all the time. Because this thing, you have to keep in mind, this thing has a consistent running PTO and you want to keep up with that. Uh, PTO whenever you're whenever you're running your auger or whatnot inside of here and you know also you're gonna be driving down the road pretty fast with one of these so you're gonna need a pretty decent sized engine most likely a Caterpillar uh, straight six or maybe even a uh, maybe even a, a Cummins V6 or straight six my bad not a V6 a straight six it would be the reason that they use straight six engines in these puppies is because straight six engines have always got lots of torque gobs of torque um, even the gasoline counterparts are known as known for having lots of torque. So yeah, um, that's just a little rundown walk around of this um, map truck with the Husky manure spreader on the rear. And one more thing before I uh, end the video, I was telling you earlier about those uh, about why it's so important for this truck to have uh, so much power, and that's because you're running two PTOs on this. You got the one on the front, you got the one on the rear. This one's for your hydraulics. One, the rear is also for the rear hydraulics, which you need, which are very important. But uh, that'll pretty much end it for this Mac truck. Um, I can find the year. It's uh, 85. This is a 1985 Mac. I don't know the specific model of it. I'm sure it's an R series. Um, R series are well known for this, but that's the end of this video. I hope you've all enjoyed this somewhat informative video on this Mac truck. Thanks for watching.